What's up guys, Asian here again with another PTS video and today we're going to be kind of going a little bit more in depth into Spell Strategist, uh, specifically how it compares to the current meta sets on live right now. So that would be primarily things like Burning Spellweave, Mother Sorrow, uh, maybe even Master Architect for certain classes. Um, so I'm just going to explain real quick what I did here uh, and kind of my methodology here before we jump straight into the numbers, um, both in a theoretical sense as well as an actual parse sense. Um, so I'm sure you guys have all seen Lyco's parse videos by now that uh, use spell strategies. Um, and taking a look at that um, and just running the numbers, it seems like spell strategist is a very strong set to use. Um, I would hazard to say that it is actually the strongest set when it comes to single target DPS. Of course, that being said, the, the big thing is their single target. So if you're looking at trash pulls or something, um, Spell Strategist isn't going to give you quite as much uh, strength as something like Mother Sorrow or Burning Spellweave, which is a more generic uh, catch-all um, set that doesn't necessarily uh, boost your single target so much. It uh, just boosts all of your damage in an equal matter. Um, but that being said, Spell Strategist um, is definitely one of the sets that we are keeping an eye on to see just how strong it actually is. Um, so I did a couple of math and I did a couple of maths. I did some math and then I did some parses to try to confirm that math. Um, and so our, we'll, I'll share those results with you in a little bit. But first let's go ahead and talk about what exactly I did. Um, so I s decided to narrow it down mainly to two front bar sets uh, to kind of shoot at for as a comparison. The first one being Mother Sorrow, which is widely used uh, for Magnite Blades and as well as Magicka Templars. And then the second set I decided to compare it against was Burning Spellweave. Now, uh, Mag Wardens uh, do run Magic Architect on the front bar, um, but that's only a very, very niche case. It's only for the Magicka Wardens. Um, if you are not a Magicka Nightblade or a Magicka Templar, chances are you are running a Burning Spellweave front bar. So that would be um, your Magicka Decays as your Magicka Sorks. So what I did was, um, so what I did here, was I basically kept the body pieces were all entirely the same. So I kept on using Zan and I kept on using Soror a Perfect Sororia across all the different parses. What I changed was the front bar set. So I was either going running a uh, Spell Strategist or um, I'm on my Templar right now. So I would also be comparing it to Mother Sorrow. And then I did this test again on a Mag DK uh, running Sororia and Zan on the, on the body and then swapping out Spell Strategist and Burning Spellweave. Now, a couple of things I do want to make note of here. I always use three Bloodthirsty. I always used three Spell Damage Enchants. My rotation pretty much stayed as, as static as it could be. Obviously, uh, the rotations are a little bit dynamic. So no, no single parse was exactly like the rest, but the skills were exactly the same. Um, I actually have to change this because I was playing around a little bit here. Um, but pretty much all the skills stayed exactly the same uh, for the Magplar. I started my J-Beam Execute at 30%, uh, as close to 30% as I could. Um, so pretty much every parse was as identical as I can make it within the confines of a dummy parse itself. Um, in terms of enchants, I had a infused flame on the front bar and I always had an infused shock damage enchant on the back bar. Um, and everything was divines, everything had max magic enchants except for the helm that was a max health enchant. We have all of our passives here. Um, and so the only thing that really changed was the front bar set here. So either Spell Strategist, Mother Sorrow, or Burning Spellweave. Now we're going to go ahead and jump over to the numbers now. So the first thing I'm going to show, share with you guys is going to be the, um, the actual theoretic, the theoretical stuff. So this is... Um, not necessarily parse numbers, this is just purely from a mathematical standpoint. Um, taking several considerations into into play here, like you know, assuming certain buff uptimes, assuming constant warhorn uptimes, things like that, assuming certain um, spell strategist uptimes. So that's kind of what uh, this um, this particular section here is. Um, so I basically took a look at um, first with Mother Sorrow, and then I compare the metrics to with 80% um, uptime on Spell Strategist. Now, I'm not 100% certain if Comet Metrics is accurately recording Spell Strategist uptimes. It was keeping giving me somewhere around like the mid 50s, um, so I'm not 100% sure if that is a correct uptime or not. Um, I think Lyco had several parses where it was about an 80% uptime, so that's kind of the number that I used. 
I'm assuming that right now common metrics is not reading it correctly. Um, so this, for example, is our um, mother sorrow uh, metrics here. So everything here is exactly as you would expect it to be. I assume that we always had Warhorn up. We were Dark Elf. Um, this is front bar only. Um, so we have Inner Light and Magicka Controller as well as our Undaunted Metal here. And then over here we have all of our spell damage stuff. So the only thing that I really changed here was going to be Spell Strategist. If we had it here, I would put down 0.8. And then obviously our average crit chance and our crit damage, that's going to change between um, Mag Decays and our uh, Magicka Templars. So our metric here, so this is the Mother Sorrow um, metric here, and we're mainly going to be just looking at the Thief metric here. So 2449.7 or so. And then this is the Spell Strategist, uh, exact same assumptions here. So we kept on assuming that we had 100% uh, Warhorn uptime, front bar only. Um, we had two spell damage bonuses here. Uh, actually, no, that should be that should be three. I lied. So three spell damage bonuses here. And then we assume, again, we assume 80% uptime because I'm not sure if common metrics is recording it right, but Lyco had several parses that showed about 80% uptime on common metrics. So I'm assuming that uh, he found a way to get it to work. Uh, my, I was getting somewhere between like mid 50s, a uh, high of like maybe low 60 or something like that. Then because this is spell stride, is not Mother Sorrow, we had a much lower average crit chance time. But other than that, our buffs pretty much stayed the same. We're assuming full penetration, assuming 100% minor vulnerability, minor berserk uptime, and of course, minor slayer from Sororia. And our metric here is 2493.25. If we take a look here, that's about a 25 metric difference or about 1% difference. So it doesn't necessarily translate to a 1% increase in DPS using Spell Strategist, but it does seem like, for us from a purely mathematical standpoint, it does seem like Spell Strategist does win out in single target DPS. Again, I want to emphasize this, this is single target DPS. This does not kind of look at the effectiveness in AoE um, just because we know that spell strategist is not going to win out because of the nature of that of that proc. Um, and so if we want to compare this to, let's say, a Magicka DK, the only thing we'd really have to change here would be uh, this, the crit damage as well as the crit chance. So the crit damage would drop down to 0.81 because we don't have the additional 10% crit damage uh, on our mag decays. Um, our crit chances would stay pretty much the same across both because we're not using Mother Sorrow, so this would change to 0 0.428. And so here we would just have our burning spell weave uptime. So I was getting around like low 60, so we'll just do 0.6 uh, as our burning spell weave uptime. And so that gives us a metric of 2269.4 compared to 2403. Uh, 0.5, uh, 6. So again, we can see here that this is actually a much larger jump here, um, as we can expect here, because it's 315 extra. Because um, the big he difference here in the Magicka DK versus the Magicka Templar is the additional spell damage. So with Burning Spell, we were averaging 315, but with Spell Strategist, we're averaging 400. So it's about a 30% increase um, in just the base spell damage. This is before we take into consideration things like major and minor sorcery. Um, the difference is a little bit smaller on the Templar uh, because Templars have a much larger crit modifier with Mother Sorrow added on. So that additional crit modifier um, basically gave Mother Sorrow much, a much large, larger boost compared to something like Burning Spellweave. So based on this mathematics, we would anticipate that uh, on a Mag DK, we would see a little bit of a larger difference in DPS uh, compared to on a Magplar. And that's really reflected here in these parses. So here we have our uh, parses here. So these were just a series of five parses. Uh, the left side is the Magicka Templar and the right side is the Magicka DK. So for Spell Strategist Parses, we were averaging about 48.5k DPS, and for Mother Sorrow, we were averaging 48.2k uh, DPS, or about a two-thirds percentage difference. Now, um, I was getting some variation here with Mother Sorrow just because of the nature of crit chances. Um, so this is probably probably going to be a little bit higher on average just because of that 47.0. Um, this could also be a little bit lower because I got a 49.1 parse with the Mother Sorrow, but this is pretty much what I would expect it to be sitting at, around 48.2, 48.3. Um, so Spell Strategist does win out against Mother Sorrow as we expected from the math. Um, the same thing happened with the Mag DK. So Spell Strategist, we managed to pull about 50.4k DPS versus with Burning Spell, we've, we pulled on average 49.7k DPS. Again, a little bit more variation here, mainly because of that lower parse here, 48.5k. Um, but this is pretty much right where we expect it. 
this is about a 1.5% DPS difference. Again, this is single target. We're not really looking at AoE damage um, in any of these parses right now. So overall, it does seem like Spell Strategist is going to be the best, uh, one of the best front bar weapon sets for pretty much every single Magicka class uh, in the game right uh, in the game right now. Um, it's not that big of a boost. You can see here it's only about uh, two thirds of a, two thirds of a single percentage point for Magicka Templars and only one and a half percentage points for a Mag DK. Um, but if you are one of those people who are running for scores, who's running for speed runs, going for those achievements. This, this little bit of additional DPS will help out. Um, and of course, there are some downsides to running Spell Strategist, mainly the fact that you aren't getting as much AoE DPS, the fact that you have to make sure your light attack hits while you're on your front bar um, in order to get that debuff uh, on the enemy. So that's just something to keep in mind there. Uh, for trash pulls, you might want to stick with something like Burning Spell Weave or Mother's Sorrow just because you're getting a little bit more AoE damage because those two sets affect all your damage equally uh, compared to Spell Strategist, which only affects one enemy. So that is it for this video. Uh, hope you guys found this video informative and you guys learned something. So yes, I would definitely anticipate... Um, Spell Strategist being the best, one of the best in slot um, sets for single target DPS. But I would still hold on to Mother Sorrow and Burning Spell Weave and any other of the other sets that you're currently running. While Spell Strategist is stronger than them, it's not by a significant amount. Um, it is stronger, but again, you're not really talking anything like 3 or 4%. It's at most maybe 2% or something like that. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys found it informative, and I will see you guys in the next dungeon.